Welcome back to the Traders Network Show and our continued coverage of Humanity 2.0. I'm Matt Bird, broadcasting worldwide from Rome, Italy for equities.com and our affiliate partners. My next guest is the co-creator of Humanity 2.0, uh, Moret Farid. Welcome to the show, buddy. Thank you. Hey, Appreciate listen, it. No, thank you. You know, we're all here because of you, you and Matthew, uh, and the wonderful work you've done along with David, who we had, we had on earlier. Um, so, you know, I guess let's start from the top, which sure. is... How did it go? You know, oh, well, we were all there. We got some coverage. We got a lot of feedback. But from your eyes and what's you, some of the things that you want to accomplish, mm -hmm. did you accomplish the mission? And what's, where, 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 what's next? Sure. Well, we've been putting this together for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the emphasis was first convening the best thinkers in the world mm -hmm. on some of these key impediments. And so getting everybody together was, uh, I think, a success. Um, we've been organizing all the content into a white paper um, and a series of white papers as well. Mm -hmm. So that was a success, um, but the work starts now. We have a, a long road ahead of a lot of these initiatives. So the concepts are, are getting clearer, but it's time to roll up our sleeves and get to work. So the companies that were participated yesterday, which you had a lot of big companies, you had Google, you had Cisco, you had what company dear to me and, and, and our group was Burst IQ and Frank mm -hmm. Ricotta. You had an endorsement from the trade department, U.S. Commerce Department, the ITA through that last panel, which you guys were so gracious to, to create for the innovation, uh, the innovation segment. Um, you've got a lot of momentum. You've got a lot of influencers look in. You have KPMG. You've got not only list Accenture, I believe. The list goes on and on and mm -hmm. on. Um, how do we? How do you? How are you going to pull that together? Yeah. Well, what's 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 the next plan, and how can companies participate right now? So the reason we formed Humanity 2.0 was basically to be a collaboration platform. Yeah. But uh, convening alone is not enough. So we've tried to kind of reverse engineer initiatives. Mm -hmm. So it's very clear what we're all trying to do, and we agree from the outset what we're here to do. So on maternal health, we're all agreeing we're here to build a lab. Mm -hmm. So we kind of do the work before the forums mm -hmm. and on the School of Business Ethics, the same thing. Um, so it's kind of we do the thinking all year long and then engage the key organizations to help us actually execute on these projects. You know, it's difficult for me to tell any entrepreneur what's your favorite, what's your favorite takeaway. But yesterday you had some real dynamic speakers. What was your favorite panel? Well, we, uh, it's hard to choose. Hey, to right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to choose. I mean, we, the morning was wonderful. Uh -huh. um, the afternoon was wonderful. Yeah. Project Vision just blew my mind in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, the content and the quality was, um, I was interested in every single segment of the program. And um, I'm, I, I think that, that was the general consensus was, mm -hmm. you know, all these people who were, who were attending, we've engaged throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Uh, Matthew and I have pretty much had conversations with at least uh, two or three times every single attendee. So, um, you know, these are conversations that are going to keep going. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that I think is, is important to actually get stuff done. How important was it to have the president of Malta? Um, I can't put it into words. Right. She's, um, she's an incredible leader. Yeah. And it just, she guides us on what to do. So we follow her lead on things like maternal health. She's, you know, a global champion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's got a 30 year commitment and track record on maternal health. And, and I, I heard that the, the first year it's going to deb debut at least a number of initiatives in Malta. That's right. Along with her. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. So we're going to, yeah, Malta will be our first partner. Um, we're going to be introducing that in June and from Malta under her leadership. We're going to take that same model throughout the Mediterranean and Northern Africa. So she's really helping us think through how we distribute it mm -hmm. and, and grow up as the initiative does. Do you, or we're going to see, do you expect any movement in, in 2020, uh, 2019, 2020? Yeah, so we've, we've, we've been in a sprint organizing this I, white I, paper. I, I, I so, bet. I so bet. that's, you know, the contributors are literally the best in the world at what they do. Yeah. The Harvard School of Public Health, Jenny Joseph, the best midwife, IHME, who you heard from, mm -hmm. Delos, the leader in healthy environments. So we're trying to look at this comprehensively, um, and we believe the lab will be open in two years. And between now and then, well, we, we have to move now. I guess you do. You, you really do. You've got the momentum behind you right now. And, That's and right. Everything's moving. Um, what's next? Roll up our sleeves and get to work.
So uh, we launched the lab yesterday. That means um, formalize our partnerships now. Mm -hmm. Start three pilot programs, one in the US, two in the rest of the, of the world, one in Malta, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. and start construction within 12 months. What area in the US are you focusing on? We're, we're going to look at it carefully. Yeah. We're obviously looking at um, kind of the vulnerable populations. Uh, we know where they are. Mm -hmm. We have the right leaders to guide us. We have the right tools to figure out. But it's really about connecting the dots. You know, there's probably a number of groups and, and a, lot of, a lot of organizations that advocate for regional-based support like that. So sure. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of options when you're sourcing this. You know, unfortunately, we have a, a lot of options because the gaps are miles wide on maternal health. The U.S. is um, the most dangerous place to be pregnant in the developed world. Is that right? We rank 48th in infant mortality. Okay, we spend more money per pregnancy than any other country in the world, and it's it's really a colossal failure. Um, and so, unfortunately, the gaps are bigger than government, bigger than any organization can fill. Why do you think that is? Oh, how much time do we have? We've got as much time okay. as yet. <laughs> no, I mean, this has been covered ad nauseum at this point. Yeah. Um, it's the most important public health issue uh. that we're not addressing. And the social determinants of it, the healthcare systemic determinants of it, so half of all pregnancies are Medicaid. The majority of those Medicaid pregnancies um, barely get any access to care. And so you have, from the top down, every layer you look at, um, just a, a massive gap, and uh, pregnant women are suffering as a result. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys have taken, taken hold of this and, and running with it, because I think you've, you're a great advocate. You guys put together an incredible amplifier uh, to shed a light on the issue, and you're coming up with, with the enablement platforms and mechanisms to solve the problem, so i got to give you credit for that, but um, thanks. And, you know, listen, we got to cut to a commercial break. Um, I'd love to have you back on the show again. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. I, Thank I really you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, the co-creator, co-founder of Humanity 2.0. Actually, before you go, do you, do you have a website or something that people can go to look more about? Sure. Humanity2.0.org. Uh, there it is. Humanity2.0.org. Um, we'll, right we'll be right back after this message. Uh, Marette Fareed, co-founder of Humanity 2.0. We'll be right back. The 2019 Humanity 2.0 Forum is brought to you by Cisco Systems, CSR solutions that are accelerating global problem solving in ways that have never been attempted before, to Ulala, providing mobile blockchain solutions for the unbanked, and to PledgeCamp, the next generation of crowdfunding. A special thanks to Titanico in Vatican City for hosting our program. And lastly, special consideration to Burst IQ, a leader in healthcare and blockchain, to Crown Sterling, the leader in digital sovereignty and quantum encryption, to Dignity Health, delivering high quality and affordable healthcare for all. And lastly, to Falcon Ventures, as transformative as our entrepreneurs. And thank you, 1-800 Public Relations, for all your PR and media support. We'll be right back after these messages. Don't go away.